Right there it is. Thanks so much to my neighbors. You can see that we left the plywood in there. And then we just put the end in the track and pulled it along. And then we had to adjust the feet a little bit so that the you can see the seam there. Seam right there till it was perfect. And then we had to put all the feet back to where it originally was. So there it is, 15 feet in diameter. It's eight o'clock, we're calling it a night. All right, as you saw yesterday, we put this up. It takes five people for sure. My neighbors came over and didn't want to be on film, so we just spun it around on the track, you knew that. Now I'm gonna level it all out. I put a mark 12 inches up all the way around. That's where my poly's gonna go. You can't see that from here, but when we get down in there, I'll show you. There we have the two by four, piece, two by four across. And then I'm leveling it. You can see I've leveled over there all the way around. It's just time consuming us all, tamping it at the same time. Okay, yeah. See it's all tamped down. Leave those boards in for now. I'll stick around the pool to keep the sand away when I build the cove. Right there it is, the plastic liner is all the way around. And then I part of mark eight inches. So I can gauge where I, how to make the cove. We're gonna start the cove right away. Alright, we have the cove in. Just uh six inches or so and we powder, put the cement powder around and wet it now we're waiting for it to dry all right we're gonna try to put the pool liner in now I won't record this in case we fall okay, I have a spread out I'm gonna put some clips around here around the pool so that it helps me fasten it as I go I'm gonna get back in there. Okay, here I have it started. I put these clips all around first, and then I just took a piece off and put a clip, put a piece off, put a clip. I have some adjusting to do, but it's coffee time. You can see there's lots of wrinkles there that can curl around. But I, I would get a bunch of these clamps then you just put them on and it holds everything in place while you're getting it in place. And then this will pound in here if it doesn't fall off. I just pushed it on but you pound that down later. With a wood mallet or plastic mallet, rubber mallet. We have these all on now. And I would suggest using those big clamps. Put your whole liner on first and then put these on after. It just saves it if you have to adjust the liner like I did. It's better. And then I, I didn't have a rubber mallet, but I had a wooden one. It's a rubber wood, not a real hammer. Tap these in. Then you might have to adjust this gap when the legs go in. Let's look at that. Here's the legs. See snap. They snap in the bottom foot here. There, and then they snap. And then, yeah, you want them to cover that gap. Then you might have to adjust these a little bit, but you have lots of space. You have that much space, so it'll be fine. We're going to put those on now. Hey, you see, we just snapped those posts in. We'll put the rim around the top now. Now you put these top pieces on the rails. Let's go do one. Okay, see there's four holes. Four holes. Two in the back, two in the front. Let's fit over here. Fit in there. Just like that, you can see they fit right on top. So I put these ledge liners all the way around now. Just 
put them all out first before you put the caps on. So I put one screw and each one just loose and then went all the way around. You have to adjust the legs as you need it. But now we have to put another one in the other hole. We'll put all the screws in and then we'll tighten them all down. And I put these two in loose all the way around. Then I put these two in loose all the way around. You might have to adjust, you know, pull it in. Then once they're all in loose, then you tighten them all down. Now it's solid. We can put the caps on. No. So you have to put these together first, and then we put them on. Down like that. Snap them over. Together. Can you hold that onto yeah. that? We just push them over. Line them up in the post. There. Done. There, when you pull it in, make sure you push this gap here is minimal because this has to be in from here so that these pieces line up like this. We had hers wrong before. So you have a little gap over here and, and then this side is about halfway down, halfway in and then the caps fit perfectly. Now these little caps, they just fit in here. They just push in like that. Go all the way around now. Now you can put these bottom screws in. It's all together. They say they're optional, but just keeps it together. Prevents more movement if you're in a place where there's thaw, freezing and thawing and we are. You just do all this around, then we're ready for wire.